Hello, today I'm going to be showing you about uh, how to tell if your fish is male or female. Uh, this is what you're looking for with your male on the underside. See, there's a smaller circle and then a smaller circle. That's how you tell it's male. This one is the um, bum and then, yeah, whatever. And then the same with the female. Apart from that's what you're looking for with the female. Sorry, the words are backwards. I didn't think about that. So now I'm going to take you down to one of the male fish that I've got here. I think it's a male. I can tell you then and there. So I'll just see you in a second. Bye. So now I'm just going to grab the fish. He's going to want a little bit of chasing about. I'll just bring it closer to the camera. Grab him. Quite high for it. Yeah, we've got ourselves a young male here. Can see here. Okay, I hope you've seen that. And this is a male. I'm gonna put him back in now because he's a bit stressed out now. Um, so that one was a male, and that is how you tell for a male. And now for the female. I'm not too keen to use this one, but I'm gonna anyway. Put it for the and, oh God. I'm just going to have to show you the picture with this one, she's too stressed out, I'm sorry guys, at the disappointment, and she's fucking spiking. So, basically, a circle and oval, you saw with the uh, other fish that um, it's just a circle and a circle with the male, it's just exactly the same, but like that, it's how you look out for African cichlids, I'm not sure if it's the same for other fish, so... Uh, you can check that out yourselves. Uh, give it a go if you've got any type of fish. It might work out and it might not, so I'll just have to leave it there because she's a bit stressed out. I can show you in the bowl bucket thing, but that's all I can do. I'm sorry, just not worth risking her to go. So, there she is, look. Little beauty. I'm just going to show you me putting her back in the tank right now. Now the main thing to concentrate on when you're adding a fish back into the aquarium is slowly adding them to the waters with, uh, about what the water is so I'm just going to empty some more water out of here back into the tank um, uh, because the temperature will have got different even in the shot amount of time the pH of things will still be the same thank you and things will not be so I'm going to leave that to float around in there for a few minutes not too long because, well, you don't need it for too long really. I'm just going to put a bit more water in there with her because she doesn't look very happy. Now she's got used to the water inside the bucket, of course, because she's been inside the bucket for a few minutes. Um, I'm going to show you right now her inside that so you can see her colours better and everything. I was, I was going to show you me putting her in because she's new. Uh, she came with a male but he died practically in the bag so that's not really my water's problem. He was just too stressed out. We're going back in the, within the next few days to get a refund and that'll be fine. So I'll just put her back in, wait till all the fish are calm and film again to show you. So I'll just see you in a minute. Okay so I've just put her back in. Uh, look out real soon for a water changing video on how to do that. I'll be telling you the equipment you'll need to do the water change and why you'll need that equipment. I'm actually going to film this straight after this video uh, while I've got all the equipment and I will, yeah, well, I'll be telling you everything you need to know about that. So please, if you really did like the video, Subscribe for more, of course request, even if you're not fish keepers, request for something that you think that fish keepers do, so that I can show you that because I can pretty much show you most things to do with the fish, but I'm not willing to pick the fish up today. Um, Minecraft videos in a few more weeks now, I um, don't think it's quite five weeks, I'm going to look into it this weekend, probably not going to get anything out this weekend. Do a few more weeks so I get anything out. I'm going to start things like uh, beach survival, 
uh, mountain survival, normal survival. I'm basically going to be showing you guys some survival stuff. Um, I would just like to give a shout out to a fellow Minecrafter called Chaz Hyde. Uh, C H A Z Z uh, space H Y D E S. He does Minecraft uh, redstone tutorials and he does a bit of die rise live streaming. If you just tune into his channel, then it'll it'll be much appreciated to me and him. Request anything to do with Minecraft with him, he'll be very happy to do it. I've requested to him a bit of a challenge, a Call of Duty uh, Zombies map for Minecraft, which is going to be a hard challenge for him. He's currently doing a Tech It series, which I've been much enjoying, where he's building some factories with, along with Callum, Tom. Uh, and Camry and some other people which I'm not sure about but just tune into that, it's fantastic and also um, if you leave a like on this video like his videos as well and that will be much appreciated so uh, see you in a, in a bit everybody